John, do you feel any, um, what's your feeling post Trump besides elation and happiness? Like, are you, what's the, are you excited about what uh, Pod Save America and uh, Love It or Leave It will look like? Are you, are you, must curious? be so relieved to not have to talk about him every day. Is it day. a relief? Is there any kind of like, damn it? No, there's, it's all relief. I yeah. feel nothing but relief. And I'm glad to not talk about um, uh, that whole group of people for a <laughs> while. I think that like, I think there's a mix of of feelings. Uh, obviously, it's wholly good that, that they're gone. Um, I, I worry about complacency. I worry about politics being a bit more boring means people don't pay as much attention. I worry about the 2020. I mean, it's so hard to tell people we need to worry about the 2022 midterm elections when they're so <laughs> tired. It's like, right, and, right, and it's also, right. I feel so, it, it feels like, I, like it, to say to people, hey, just so you know, I know, I know this seems crazy, but uh, the 2022 elections, democracy is on the line again. And yeah. I, you say that, and you, but no, but think about it, right? If we don't make sure we keep our gains, even with redistricting, even with gerrymandering and all the things that will take place, uh, imagine what the electoral college certification looks like if you don't have Nancy Pelosi in the speakership. Imagine losing a one-seat Senate majority. And so right. um, I don't want to live in a democracy where every election, you're not just voting between two parties, but whether or not you want to have a democracy. But until but until then, every election, the stakes are really, really high. So I think right now I'm I am glad that that we can we can breathe knowing that we won't wake up to a Muslim ban or a trans ban or some other heinous policy. We have to push and help the Biden administration be successful. And then we have to think about how we organize to tackle the underlying conditions that made Trump possible when Trump isn't around every day to remind people like he's a gun on the mantle now. Right. Um, and we have to remind people that that's there and it could still, you know, somebody could grab it and fire. Right. And I am a fastidiously nonpartisan investigative reporter. So I, <laughs> he's not part of this. He's not partisan. It's, it's fine. <laughs> um, we fight about that sometimes. We do. Yeah. We do. So that's so interesting. What a weird way of saying you're a hardcore Trump supporter, Roman. I didn't. And that's a, that that <laughs> wow, has to be a revelation. You figured here. me out. Hey, honeymooners. Thanks for checking out that clip of the Endless Honeymoon podcast. If you want to see where that clip comes from, click here. And to subscribe, click here.